Roger Casey again with Burgess. I want to continue talking about masonry and some masonry requirements. So it's important to understand that the masonry itself is not structurally integral to the dwelling or business. All right, it is just a facade. It doesn't matter how substantial the masonry is or, or how lightweight it may be. What's more important to understand is the, uh, the way we support that independent structure itself. Let's dive into uh, some of those components and see if we can do a better job in the field. Okay, in this segment, we'll talk about the attachment of the veneer ties because that's uh, just as important as every other piece and, and subject we've touched on in other videos. I encourage you to watch the other ones for spacing and, and uh, tie size, etc. Today on attachment in R703.8.4, uh, it gets very specific about what we can use. Most often it's an 8D common non-corrosive nail. 8D common nail is two and a half inches in length. Again, we're going into framing members. Uh, keep that in mind. There's an exception. There's a caveat that we'll talk about in a minute. And the head size is given in millimeters in the code. Basically, it equates to between one quarter and five sixteenths on the head size. There are certain areas that need a ring shank, a nails, or screws. And those are structures in seismic categories D0, D1, and D2. A lot of those areas fall uh, from the Rocky Mountains west. A lot of those areas are out there. There's some uh, parts of southwestern uh, Oklahoma, um, some areas up north, areas of South Carolina. So make sure you're working with a design professional and looking at the, the code reference table on that. Uh, another area where increased fastener schedule and type is required is where it is exposed to more than 30 pounds per square foot of wind load. Now the wind load is based upon exposure categories, adjacent structures, things like that. Again, important to work with a design professional. But apart from those caveats, the standard attachment is going to be uh, an 8D nail uh, attached to studs. Now, for attachment, you can attach the ties to wood structural panels. Three things that are very important if you're going to do it in that fashion. One, the wood structural panel, as code refers to it, is a minimum of 7 sixteenths of an inch thick. So it does not apply to, to other WRBs and so forth that are not wood structural panels, 7 sixteenths of an inch thick. Secondly, then you have to use the ring shank nails or screws. No longer can you use 8D nails if you're going into wood structural panels. Um, and finally, the third point under there is following an increased fastener schedule. That's in table R703.8.4 parentheses 2. So if you're attaching veneer ties to wood structural panels, there is an increased fastener schedule and frequency that you're going to need to follow. So check into that. Again, 8D common nails, 2.5 inches in length, quarter inch or better head uh, for the attachment of veneer ties. Hope this helps. Stay tuned for more.